Hi, I am Stephanie Kang and I welcome you to my channel. Today we are talking about the zero position. When I am meeting my partner on the dance floor, I usually go one step in front and then I position myself in the zero position. I leave it up to my partner to decide the distance between us. I keep my shoulders relaxed and my belly muscles activated and my sternum a little bit in front. In the zero position, I have my knees and my heels touching each other. I show you here the three points of reference in my feet. So each foot has three points of contact with the floor. That is the heel, that is the big toe and the small toe. The free leg has two points of contact with the floor. That is the heel and the big toe. The little toe is lifted. This allows me to slide the knee of the free leg slightly in front of the other knee of the standing leg. The standing leg will have three points of contact and will have all the weight. While I am shifting my weight from one leg to the other leg, I will relax the hip over the free leg. Meaning to say the free leg will elongate will be feel very heavy, it will pull down. I feel heaviness over the free leg. This allows me to keep my axis 90 degree to the floor. If I am not relaxing my hip, the point of gravity will be outside of my axis. I will lose balance and my weight will not come directly through my standing leg into the floor. Another mistake is when you collapse your center, when you drop the hip too much down, that your whole spine is in a curve then you will lose your axis, you will lose your posture, you will lose your connection you will lose your balance. Here we can see once again the correct position of the zero position from seen from the side and from the front. Do you have any queries? Don't hesitate to contact me and join my special ladies technique weekend escape. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you.